When a building falls short of contractual specifications, how much does the builder owe? The builder usually tries to limit damages to diminution of value, the reduction in property value caused by the defect. The owner generally seeks the full cost of repair. In Landis v. William Fannin Builders Incorporated, a couple gets mismatched siding on their custom-built house. Now the court must decide which measure of damages matches their loss. Married couple Steve Landis and Nancy Weedman chose William Fannin Builders to construct a home in Pleasantville, Ohio. Landis and Weedman signed a contract in which Fannin agreed to build a custom home according to attached specifications. The specifications called for a rustic plywood siding with vertical grooves spaced 11 inches apart. Landis and Weedman wanted a natural look showcasing the wood's grain. Weedman chose a semi-transparent stain in a green hue for the siding. The lumber subcontractor underestimated the amount of siding needed, so the siding had to be stained in two separate batches. One batch turned out noticeably darker. Fannin's field superintendent assured Weedman that a second coat of stain applied after installation would blend the shades. Fannin clad the house with the two shades of siding, producing a patchwork appearance. The second coat of stain didn't create a uniform color. Fannin agreed to provide replacement siding, but when it arrived, Landis and Weedman discovered it was yellow, not green, and instructed Fannin not to install it. A solid stain would have covered the mismatched siding, but Landis and Weedman didn't want to conceal the wood's natural grain. Left with an ugly, dual-tone exterior, Landis and Weedman sued Fannin for breach of contract. The trial court found in Landis and Weedman's favor and calculated the damages as $66,906.24, the cost of replacing the siding. Fannin appealed to the Ohio Court of Appeals.